Mike Moore Media. I'm talking today with Tara Martin, Marketing Director for Economic Development, Small Business, and Tourism here in Rockingham County. Tara, how are you? Always good to check in, see what's going on. Yes, doing great, Mike. I hope you are, and it's always good to to catch up and kind of spread the good news that we always have here in Rockingham County. That's right, and there is a lot of good news. There's so many things happening, um, a lot to see and do. But um, I know you have a very important topic uh, for today's podcast, so let's uh, get right to that. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, one of the biggest things that draws visitors to Rockingham County, especially this time of year, are our rivers and lakes. Um, You know, we have a plethora of water um, in Rockingham County, um, which is such a wonderful asset. We actually have 4,500 acres of lakes and then 88 miles of uh, rivers. So there's definitely a lot of water adventure to be had um, in Rocco, and we and we definitely want visitors to enjoy that to the fullest, but they also need to make sure that they're taking all the safety or precautions that they need um, in order to do that and have the best safe time that they possibly can. That's exactly right. Sure. Yeah. And you, you mentioned that. Can, can, give me those numbers again. I jotted down 88 miles of uh, – give, give me that because that's, that's very impressive. Yeah, so it's 45 acres of water, which that includes our lake. So that's Blues Lake, Lake Hunt, and Lake Reedsville. Mm -hmm. And then we have 88 miles of river. So that's our four rivers, which is the Mayo, Smith, Dan, and Hall. Yeah, wow. Uh, That's... uh and that's so uh, great to have all of that here in Rockingham County. Yeah, and now exactly. let's get and a lot of people coming in to our county from um, from uh, many different places. So yeah, let's go ahead and get right to your safety information. That's great. Yeah. So anytime that you get on the water, you know, definitely make sure that you're taking all of the safety precautions ahead of time. Um, you know, swimming in our rivers and lakes is definitely at your own risk. So you want to make sure that you have everything that you need to have an enjoyable and safe experience. Um, and then you also need to realize that anytime you get in a body of water, that that body of water can potentially be dangerous, mm-hmm. um, especially if you don't know, like, the the lay of the land or river or, or water, as you might would say. Mm-hmm. Um, so just making sure that you plan ahead of time. Um, we actually have a wonderful Blue Way Guide uh, that kind of maps out, out all of the river trips, so where you can put in at, where you can take it, uh, take out at, and then it gives you some information along the way. So if there's going to be some rapids, like what kind of rapids are those, um, it also lets you know like where all of our dams are on the rivers, which is super important to make sure that you avoid those. And then it also lets you know approximately how much time it's going to take you to go from point A to point B on the river so that you can plan accordingly. Um, you always want to make sure that that you kind of have an idea of how long that you're going to be on the river, especially if you're getting on the river uh, later in the afternoon, because you want to make sure that you're off that water before it gets dark. Um, you know, once the sun goes down, the river changes drastically because you lose that familiar, familiarization that you may have even if you are a river pro. Um, you kind of lose that sense of direction and, and those type things. So it's good to make sure that you're off that water before before dark hits. Sure, yeah. I'm, I'm looking through the, uh, the Blue Way Guide. Uh, this is a great tool. I, I feel like Rockingham County leads the way in, in so many different <laughs> ways. And I, I just wonder if anybody else in, in the state has uh, the nice publications that you do. Uh, but the Blue Way Guide is available where? So you can actually uh, find it online. So that's, you know, if you are in the midst of heading to the river and you realize, oh, goodness, I don't have a Blue Way Guide, you can always go to our website, which is www.visitrocoNC.com, and you can find our Blue Way Guide there that you can easily look through online on your phone. But you can also pick those up at our office, which is located on the um, Governmental Center Complex. We're in the back. Uh, parking lot so you're welcome to swing by here we also have them at our local chambers and many of our local businesses as as well so if you're like me i like to have something that i hold in hand um that i can thumb through and make notes on so having that hard copy um definitely is a huge asset 
It really is, and it will uh, fit nicely uh, in your uh, your back pocket, uh, for yeah. for example, and uh, uh, wherever you uh, need to get this um, and have it. And, and just kind of leafing yeah. through a copy here. My gosh, how long did it take you to put this river guide, the Blue, Blue Way guide, together? It seemed like forever. Yeah, <laughs> um, just because, you know, we wanted to make sure that we created a document that really gave visitors and residents alike um, all the tools that they needed to have a safe and fun river trip. Um, so a lot of research went into it. Uh, we had a lot of partners come to the table to make sure that the information that we were putting out there in terms of uh, the put-ins and the takeouts were all correct. Um, of course, the approximate time was correct, what to expect, um, you know, things to see along the way, all of that was correct. So, I mean, it was definitely um, definitely months and months of work that went into that. Um, you know, and it's something that we are very proud of. I mean, to your point, there's really not a lot of other publications in the state that are all encompassing like this particular document is. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're very proud of that. And hopefully, you know, or we're kind of, we kind of laid the foundation for, for other counties that, you know, have rivers and lakes to, to create something that's going to work for their community as well. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. So uh, pick that up at the different locations that Tara mentioned. And on the website, visit rocoNC.com. Four rivers, three lakes. Uh, welcome to Rockingham County uh, if, as you come in and enjoy our uh, lakes and rivers. And, uh, but please stay safe. Okay. Yes, absolutely. You know, and there are so many different things, um, you know, just kind of a little checklist that people might want to want to go over mentally and, and kind of lay out their equipment and stuff. But, you know, I can't, I can't stress enough, you know, planning ahead, um, you know, making sure that, that you know, that you know your route, you know what to expect on that route, um, making sure that you keep an eye on the weather, um, because especially this time of year, those afternoon thunderstorms come up very mm-hmm. rapidly. So yeah. kind of, have an idea of what's going on with that i had mentioned you know making sure that you do not go near dams um you know like i said on the blue way guide we have all of those dams in rockingham county marked so make sure that you know where those are um and be sure to go around them on land um do not do not ever try to go over them um you know making sure that you have a buddy system so never go by yourself you know it doesn't matter how comfortable you are in the water is never a good idea to go by yourself so making sure you have a buddy system and then most importantly making sure that you have a life jacket again it doesn't matter how comfortable you are in the water uh when you're dealing with rivers and lakes um you know things can can change on a daily basis with the layout of the of the water especially on those rivers because that's a moving body of water So having that life jacket, you know, if you're fishing, if you're wading, even if you're on a tube or swimming, and even on a boat. So making sure that you have that life jacket and that it fits well, um, you know, and and not just, and it's actually on your body, not just close (laughs) by. Um, A lot of times, you know, especially we see boaters that they'll have the life jacket sitting beside them on the boat. Well, that's not going to do you any good, you know, should something happen. Um, and, you know, making sure you check your gear ahead of time. So check those boats, check those tubes. Um, you know, if you're using one of our tubing outfitters, they're checking those tubes for you. Um, but, you know, really check in to make sure that you have the proper gear, um, making sure that you take plenty of water, even when you're on water, um, making sure that you have sunscreen and insect pr- repellent. You know, all of those little things can help to make sure that you have a safe and enjoyable uh, water experience in Roco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, the uh, these safety tips are, are so very very important for you to have uh, a wonderful time and uh, a safe time on our waters. Okay, exactly. Yep. All right, Tara. Anything else uh, you need to mention today? I don't think so. I think you know we, like I said, we just have we, so many visitors that are coming in and our residents that are really enjoying our waters and. Right now is the perfect time because, you know, just the heat out there, getting in the water definitely is so refreshing. Mm -hmm. And we want them to continue to do that, but to do that in the safest way possible. Okay. Tara, thank you for uh, all of this information. Again, tell us where we can find out more about ROCO, what's happening here in Rockingham County. Yes. 
So, obviously, anyone can visit our website, which is www.visitrocoNC.com. And just to let you in on a little secret, we will be launching a new website um, in the next few weeks. So Mm -hmm. be on the lookout for those wonderful changes that are coming for that. Wonderful. Also, they can visit our Facebook page, um, which is Visit Rockingham County NC. Um, You should be able to find that relatively easily. We have that, um, or on our Facebook page, we have our events. So a lot of events that are happening around the county, we add those to our page to ensure that, you know, Everybody is able to kind of explore and experience all the events that we have. And then also, if they're looking to pick up any of our guides, including our Blue Way guide, they can stop by our office or, or find those digitally on our website. Um, and then, of course, at the local chamber offices and many of the local businesses as well. Great. Okay. Tara, always good to talk to you. Thanks a lot. And thank you, Mike. And it's always great to talk to you as well. All right. And we'll check in again next month. Sounds great. Thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. We're getting an update today from Tara Martin. She is Marketing Manager for Economic Development, Small Business, and Tourism in Rockingham County. It's a very important water safety information. And, uh, yes, please pick up your Roco Blue Way Guide uh, at the uh, many different places, she, as she said, but uh, very easy if you're listening and you're not right here in the immediate area. Uh, visit the website, and you'll find that guide there. Oh, this is so uh, so um, detailed in everything you need to know about our uh, rivers and lakes in Rockingham County. And you find that at visitrocoNC.com.